Good evening, I'm Shoghi Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the commander of the United States Central Command, General Kenneth McKenzie at Glebia Palace. The Deputy King reaffirmed the strength of bilateral relations between Bahrain and the United States and underlined the importance of expanding cooperation at all levels, including defense cooperation. In this regard, the Deputy King reiterated Bahrain's commitment to working with international partners to advance regional stability, emphasizing the important role the U.S. plays in maintaining regional security. The Deputy King concluded by congratulating General McKenzie on his new appointment as the commander of the U.S. Central Command and wished him success in his new role. The Chief of Staff of Bahrain Defense Force, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar al Aime, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the fourth intake of the first Deputy Prime Minister's Fellowship at Glebia Palace. During the meeting, the Deputy King emphasized that in line with His Majesty the King's directives, the Kingdom remains committed to investing in Bahraini youth, providing them with skill sets that are conducive to creative thinking, innovation and leadership. The Deputy King highlighted that the FDPM Fellowship has provided an integrated platform for the enhancement of government efficiency, aiming to advance competitiveness and productivity through the wide-ranging initiatives and projects of the Fellows. The Deputy King praised the fourth intake's diligence and relentless commitment to capitalize on the Fellowship's extensive training programs and wish them success in applying their newly acquired knowledge when they return to their workplaces. The Deputy King concluded by commending the efforts of those who contribute to the FTPM Fellowship activities, noting the program's significant achievements in alignment with the government's objectives. For their part, the FDPM Fellows expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Deputy King for his continued support and encouragement. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the historical achievement of the national team in winning the 23rd Asian Athletics Championship and earning 22 medals, including 11 gold. He stressed this achievement is one of the most important ones for the Bahraini sport and stressed that it's all thanks to the support of His Majesty the King to the sports movement, which will only lead to future progress. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the national teams achieving the winning the title of the 23rd Asian Athletics Championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in congratulating His Majesty the King on the occasion, which marks an honorable historic achievement for the Kingdom, and as a result of the support of His Majesty the King to the youth and sports sector and his continuous keenness on athletes. His Highness reiterated his congratulations on the achievement, pledging to His Majesty to continue towards making further achievements that raise the status of the Kingdom. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to patronize the 27th Heritage Festival that was held under the theme Arabian Horses and organized by the BACA at Sheikh Salman bin Ahmad Al Fatih Fort in Rafah. Upon arrival, His Highness Sheikh Khalid was received by the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa. President of Bahrain Basketball Association, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, BACA's President, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mayed, and General Director of BACA, Sheikh Hala bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid toured the festival that included historical pictures and exhibits, and pictures taken by Sheikh Hanan bin Hassan Al Khalifa as well as artworks presented by Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and Sheikh Maryam bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. The festival included several programs and activities that showcased the beauty of Arabian horses, in addition to a market for traditional products and food. 
His Highness thanked the participants and their keenness in Bahraini tradition. He appreciated their role in maintaining these traditions. His Highness then received a commemorative gift from the BACA president. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the 27th Heritage Festival that was held under the theme Arabian Horses and organized by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Today is the launch of the Heritage Festival and this year we are in a very special location in the Rifa' Fort, Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed al Fatih's fort and uh, it's wonderful to celebrate heritage and culture, and culture in a historic site. Uh, of course the festival every year has a different theme and this year we're focusing on Arabian horses. All the activities showcase the wealth and the special breed of Arabian horses we have in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It's an opportunity to explore horses and how they live and and all the tools and all the uh, materials that are used uh, for horses. So as you can see, there are so many crafts that, are, that relate to horses. And uh, it's a wonderful idea for families and children to come and have a look and be educated. We also believe in, in learning tools. And we have created a special booklet in both Arabic and English to, to be like a, a learning activity for all our little uh, audiences. Um, this Heritage Festival is something that we are extremely proud of at the at the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and I look forward to, to having a lot of uh, families and, and guests uh, visit and enjoy the various activities we have on display. The festival included historical pictures and exhibits, artworks and a market for traditional food and products. The Heritage Festival is one of the most important events carried out by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities taking place each year during the month of April. We have dedicated the theme of this year to the Arabian horses, which are a very important component of the heritage of Bahrain. We're highlighting throughout this uh, edition of the festival different aspects of Arabian horses, which would include uh, a number of uh, lectures, some book launches, in addition to the regular performances carried out throughout the festival and the different uh, crafts that will be presented to the public during the uh, days of the festival. The event showcases the Bahraini tradition and its rich history that affirms the importance of maintaining national heritage, culture and identity. Heritage Festival, which it is the 27th this year, 
for 2019. It is a unique festival. The, it is carrying the name of Arabian horses, Bahraini Arabian horses. Bahraini Arabian horses came originally with Al Khalifa family from the Persian world of Arabian over than 250 years, and that uh, give the unique uh, exhibition and festivals. The festival also included several programs and activities that showcase the beauty of Arabian horses. The event is scheduled to conclude on the 3rd of May. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Sahar Taha. The Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa witnessed the conclusion of the Dawn of Storms 23 Naval Tactical Drill implemented by the Royal Bahrain Navy Force with the participation of the BDF, National Guard and Interior Ministries Coast Guard units. Upon arrival, the BDF Commander-in-Chief was greeted by Chief of Staff General Diab bin Sagar al Naimi, Royal Bahrain Navy Force Commander, Naval Major General Muhammad Yusuf al Asim, and senior officers. After the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, the RBNF Commander delivered a welcoming speech on this occasion, in which he expressed utmost gratitude and appreciation to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for patronizing the conclusion of the drill and his continuous attention to the RBNF, boosting up its capabilities and combat and training efficiency. ربط هذه التمارين مع الواقع والحقيقة ويمكن سلاح البحرية هو بيكون من الوحدات الأوائل اللي يستدمون بهذا التهديد كما هو عندنا إحنا في القوات البرية وفي سلاح الجو اليوم سلاح البحرية هو تقريبا الخط الأول وأهلنا اللي قبلنا وأهلكم كلهم قاتلوا ودافعوا عن هذا الجزء من المنطقة العربية والإسلامية وحافظوا على عروبته ونجحوا وأغلبهم كانت عملياتهم في البحر طبعا البر كان لهم دور أيضا لكن كانوا دائما يقاتلون في البحر قبل البر ويقاتلون بعيد عن سواحلهم وعن مياههم الإقليمية واليوم أنا ملاحظ في تدريبكم في عملياتكم يجب أن نطور أيضا إمكانياتنا إن شاء الله في هذا المجال فاستعداداتنا الأيام إن شاء الله والتدريبات وإجراء التمارين then the Commander-in-Chief delivered the following speech. Director of the BDF Command, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Assistant Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Public Security Chief, Major General Tariq Hassan Al Hassan, National Guard Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, and senior officers were also present. The Parliamentary Economic Forum was launched today titled Effectiveness of Legislative Action in Stimulating and Supporting the National Economy. Under the patronage of the Representatives Council Speaker, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, with the participation of officials and specialists from various economic sectors held at Gulf Hotel. Present with the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, a number of ministers, senior officials, members of the representatives and Shura Council, and specialists in the financial, economic and business sectors in the Kingdom. The forum began with a speech delivered by the representatives council speaker in which she affirmed the royal directives of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to support and develop the financial and economic sector of Bahrain, and the keenness of the council's projects and legislation to benefit citizens. She noted the Council's keenness to activate its legislative and supervisory role in many issues and topics, most notably activating the parliamentary role to support and stimulate the national economy through cooperation with the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the integration of efforts and coordination with the Shura Council under the chairmanship of Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh. Afterwards, the forum's discussion sessions began and included four main topics, which are the Legislative Authority and Bahraini Citizens' Living Standards, the Legislative Authority and the General Budget, the Legislative Authority and the Fiscal Balance Program, and the Legislative Authority and the Development of the National Economy's Competitiveness.
special thanks uh, to the organizers of today's event. Uh, it is uh, extremely productive when we have face-to-face -face discussions. Um, and of course, uh, I'd like to thank the panelists for sharing uh, very useful information. Uh, as the saying goes, we always learn something new every day. Uh, today, we thank especially the panelists from the Ministry of Finance, Hamad El Malki, who had a very positive outlook. Uh, no doubt, we do have challenges with our fiscal deficit. But then again, uh, by the year 2022, as per our fiscal uh, balance program, we're looking uh, to achieve uh, that uh, healthy balance uh, in, in the years to come. Uh, at the same time, uh, we look at the um, importance of all the legislation that we have managed to pass in past years and continue uh, to review and study and propose uh, new bills to help the welfare of the citizens. So as legislators, we're very happy when we hear from the panelists from the Chamber of Commerce and, and the other organizations as to how it has helped uh, the passing of uh, legislation such as the uh, insolvency and bankruptcy law, uh, the uh, competition, uh, competitive uh, law uh, act, uh, and, and other uh, legislation that have helped to stabilize, for example, prices for consumers, that has helped to restructure businesses who have suffered from insolvency uh, and, uh, and then they have started again uh, back to, uh, from, a found, from another new foundation. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, delivered a speech during the 11th International Economic Summit, Russia Islamic World Kazan Summit 2019, held in Tatarstan. Sheikh Abdurrahman affirmed that Bahrain has a full will to develop its relations with Russia, in light with its continuous endeavor to develop its relations with world countries, which stems from the vision of His Majesty Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and is based on the economic vision of 2030. He stated that His Majesty the King and the Russian President Vladimir Putin are keen on developing bilateral relations, adding that the two countries have chosen to cooperate strategically. The President of SCIA noted the Council's signing of a Memorandum of Understanding with the Russian Mufis Shura Council in May 2017. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa headed today the 12th meeting of the National Committee to Combat Drugs in the presence of the Minister of Education, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Minister of Information Affairs, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, the Southern Governor, Customs President and committee members. The Interior Minister affirmed that the Kingdom exerted efforts to combat drugs and highlighted that the incident that happened at Hamidtown Girls School had been resolved. The Minister of Health then briefed the committee on the suggested procedures to regulate the disbursements of medicine and monitor pharmacies in this regard and will refer these regulations to the Supreme Council of Health. The committee was then briefed by the Ministry of Youth and Sports regarding the Together to Combat Violence and Addiction program that aimed to educate the youth on the dangers of drugs. The Ministry now is working on launching the second edition of the program with the participation of 70 people representing 35 youth centres. The Interior Minister praised the programs and activities of the youth centres and clubs and stressed their importance in developing projects related to society partnership and affirmed the important role of the Kingdom's governorate in ensuring the safety of the citizens. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment stressed the role of societies, institutions and the private sector in spreading awareness. The Minister of Education pointed out that 9,000 students are going to study social services subjects in order to increase awareness. The committee's chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to the Education Ministry's cooperation in this regard and expressed appreciation to the Ministry of Information for their role in spreading films and materials on awareness and combating drugs. The Southern Governor stressed that the Together to Combat Violence and Addiction program is now covering 173 schools and will reach 211 schools. The Interior Minister stressed the importance of increasing the number of trainers to cover up the total number of targeted schools and youth centres and expressed thanks and appreciation to the committee's members for their roles in combating drugs and coordinating with the concerned bodies to achieve the planned goals. The first financial sector conference opened yesterday in Riyadh under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, which is organised by the partners of the Financial Sector Development Programme. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the two-day event which is being held at the King Abdulaziz International Conference Centre. Participating in the conference are representatives from the Ministry of Finance, Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority and Capital Market Authority, 
decision makers in the financial sector, and senior executive officers in financial institutions locally, regionally and internationally. The Gulf Property Show 2019 window to real estate held under His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa closed today after taking place over the course of three consecutive days at the International Exhibition and Convention Center. The show saw a participation of 140 exhibitors from 19 countries from Bahrain and the GCC countries, in addition to several international companies. The annual Gulf Property Show is a stage where several substantial solutions and products are to be put on show. This will be about property investment, property, property management and property industry. As a means towards boosting its property market, the Kingdom of Bahrain has been hosting annual real estate exhibitions in the recent years that act as a platform for the major local and regional real estate companies to showcase their projects and solutions directly to their market audience, which stands out as the Kingdom's biggest annual real estate event. The Gulf Property Show carries with it the strategic organizational support of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority of Bahrain, Survey and Land Regulatory Bureau, Urban Planning and Development Authority of Bahrain, and Bahrain Property Developers Association. The market is really growing now uh, due to the government policies. Real estate is like, if you look at the real estate, um, in Arabic, they are saying akara. If you look at the alphabetically, number of word being, you know, together to make akara or real estate. Starting from the layman who does the job, starting from the bank who do finance, starting from the government who provide the facility and you know, legislation. So it's like a combination of the entire process. Real estate will not happen. If the government does not provide us a facility, bank does not going to provide us finance, and the worker does not do the work. So you can see that uh, this is called real estate and we are in it. It's a RERA is a, like um, become a master uh, ruler in the real estate. They put up a very good uh, rule regulation, they facilitate the developer, the marketing agent, uh, the banks, you know, it's all links. Uh, now you, you have to work as a very organized contractor, as a very organized developer and as a, as a very organized marketing agent also. You cannot just uh, work like earlier, little loose and, you know, uh, professionalism come inside now. We recently have completed the, the, the courses of uh, RERA by the BIBF, by our staff. Uh, that is a very first time things are happening, you know, that, you know, the real estate professional has to learn and learn more and more professionally. Because the real estate is not a just building and selling and leaving it. No, I think there are other due diligence.